Also developing tonight, this truck riddled with bullets crashed steps from an elementary school and one man inside that school did all the right things, ultimately saving lives. CBS News Chris Ty spoke to him and a school nurse who raced to help. He is live at the 15th District Police Station on the west side. Chris. Erica, police here still searching for that gunman who shot at that man and killed him outside that West Side Charter School today, putting that facility on lockdown, where two of its staffers teaching through actions on this anything but ordinary school day. Steps from what's hailed a gun-free zone, a thoroughly contradictory crime scene. I heard about maybe 12 gunshots. The gunman storms this black truck, shooting and killing the 30-year-old driver, quickly running from the school campus here off Laramie and Kedzie. I was terrified. Within moments, the school locks down, but two staffers step up. You know, students can sense when there's something going on. Heard some noises, uh, came out to investigate. It Andrew like Scott Musso is a behaviorist. Amanda Thorson is the school yeah. nurse. But those are their day jobs. So I am a firefighter EMT. So a lot of it is you just fall back on your training. I was an EMT as well, and I did work in the emergency room for a couple of years. There's a number of people surrounding the car. Uh, I would imagine to make sure that he was okay. Adrenaline kicks in. So you just do your quick assessment. We did attempt to get the individual out of the car, but we're unable to. Just did compressions in the car the best we could. They were unable to save the driver but fully able to teach by example. So when I came out, I, I saw a different picture, and then I thought, how can I contribute to you know, possibly save a life? You know, you hear that someone is hurt and in need, and so you do what you're called to do. Andrew, too modest to say it, but police telling us that when he got up to that SUV, it was still moving. He reached into the window and turned that wheel so it didn't come into contact with a group of people just down the way. By the way, police still not releasing the name of the suspect or the victim as the hunt for that gunman moves into the weekend. Live on the west side tonight, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Remarkable tell. Thank you, Chris.